This will be a bit of fun to show the interactions of the energies that come from pancake coils, how they can affect others that are around them. What I've got here are three, and they're all basically following this circuit diagram. I've also got a ruler on the left, it's a construction type, with a bit of an odd measurement really of 16 inches or 40 centimetres, but it should help us to see where these interactions go to in distance. So first of all, just to show the effect and show it quite dramatically, I'll use this one here. It's also about a decade year old by the way, all of these are about a decade old, <laughs> but uh, these are effects that I've noticed. So if I take this one which is flashing very very quickly, and I bring it towards Nephilim Penny over there, then you can see how the rate changes a Nephilim Penny to match this one on the right. And there are the kind of effects I want to show. Now what kind of distance? Well, if we begin down here at the 16 inches, using the very top and the very bottom of the other one, and as I move it closer, we'll wait to see where there's some kind of a change. There we are, Nephilim Penny starting to speed up, and that's about six inches away. Another interesting side here is that this one, this Nephilim Penny, will actually react to storms. Uh, the flash rate will slow down when a storm is about three miles away, a thunderstorm. Anyway, so now as we move forwards, that rate of Nephilim Penny will increase and increase and increase as it gets nearer until at the point there we are, it trips into going very fast indeed. Of course the brightness decreases as well because of the side, well we're running on water but the uh, each flash has only got a certain amount of power to it so if you try and flash too quickly then it will make the LED dim some. There's the actual full effect of these two and on that point, if I take, say, this black one, which is flashing slower, and I move it towards Nephilim Penny, both of them, at a certain point, will flash at exactly the same rate. Let's see, have they matched? There they go. So even though they're physically separated, there's obviously no wires going on anywhere, you can see that those two LEDs are flashing in perfect harmony. Now while well, we've got these two flashing away together, can we upset the pair of them by using this much faster flashing white one? Let's see what happens as I bring it closer. And there we go. Those two have now changed to flash a rate and there we go. All three are now going at the same speed as this one. Move it away a bit more and these two come back to flashing but they are being affected. Move this completely away and those two end up flashing at the same rate again. So what happens if we put all three coils on top of each other? We'll use this one as the base while it's the biggest. Put the black one on top Those two are flashing together. I put the third one on top. All of them are now flashing at its speed. But there's a strange pulsing going on, if you can see. Especially on this one, you can see it. All three are doing a very slight wobble to their flash rates. Now, one question you might have is, well, we know that coils are affected when they're side by side. Does the same sort of thing happen in the other direction, up and down? You can see now that Nephilim Penny is flashing really quickly. We take this coil away and it slows down. But if I introduce it from above, here we are right up here. If I introduce it, where do we need to go to to get effects? Well, there we are there. Bring it down. And there we are. It's tripped into the same fast speed as the one above. And that's at approximately the same distance as side to side. If I move this, say, to 45 degrees away, we bring it down, we're still not showing the same kind of effects. So it appears to be 
but we need to be in the same plane. So there we are, to so bring it nearer, across, we end up with the effect. But again, to several inches away. And finally, while we know there's an influence of the white one to a certain range, can we extend that range? So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll bring in the black one. And we'll see where it begins to flash very quickly. It's speeding up, speeding up. And there we go, it's tripped into it there. Almost to the point of, of going out, it's flashing so fast. Now I'll bring in Nephilim and Penny and see if it becomes affected. It's already flashing quickly. Oh, there we go. It's tripped into that high speed and we're now 10 inches away from the other coil. Look at the front edge of here, look at the edge there. Yep, we're 10 inches away and it's been affected. And of course, bring it away a bit and it's back to flashing at its normal rate. So there we are, a few experiments. I hope you enjoyed them and thanks very much for watching.